Donald Trump blamed President Biden and Vice President Harris for the latest assassination attempt against him. Without evidence, uh, because I want to be very clear here, the president and the vice president uh, have always forcefully, forcefully condemned uh, violence in all forms. It is not the time to tear Americans apart. Donald Trump blamed President Biden and Vice President Harris for the latest assassination attempt against him. He claimed without evidence that their rhetoric is causing him to be, quote, shot at. How is the White House responding to those comments? Well, I love that you, you added without evidence uh, because I want to be very clear here. The president and the vice president uh, have always forcefully, forcefully condemned uh, violence in all forms, uh, including uh, political violence. And, uh, and we uh, certainly have uh, never encouraged any violence in any way. Uh, if anything, this is a president and a vice president has been pretty forceful about that. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, when it comes to differences uh, in, in issues and policies, we believe that there should be a conversation. There was a debate just last week, right? We, there should be a conversation and a back and forth about that, a healthy conversation. Uh, and it's crucial that we do that. And the president has also said, when it comes to uh, you know, violent rhetoric, we gotta bring the temperature down. You heard that directly from this president. And it is not the time to tear Americans apart. We, we cannot do that or divide our country. The president and the vice president is always gonna call that out, uh, but they have been uh, very clear, very forceful on condemning any form of political violence. So do the president and vice president believe that the kind of language that Trump used in those comments I just said are contributing to the tension and divisiveness <laughs> you just Here's, talked about? It is, uh, look, we're gonna be really clear, clear, we've always have been. It is important to bring down the temperature, uh, to bring that temperature down of that political violent rhetoric. We've been very clear about that. Uh, and uh, we believe, this president believes, let's not forget why he decided uh, to run in 2020, uh, was uh, about that, was about making sure that we bring the country together, that we bring people together, and it was not about dividing. And so we're gonna continue to be very, very clear about that. Uh, we're gonna continue to call that out. And they did, January 6th. The president and the vice president called that out. Uh, when uh, Paul Pelosi was attacked, was attacked because of political rhetoric, violent rhetoric. We called that out. Uh, and when the first incident happened uh, a couple weeks ago, the, the butler, uh, after that aftermath, the president called that out as well. And so he's very consistent. He thinks both sides should be very clear about that. It's not just, uh, it's not just uh, uh, the president or the vice president. Every leader, national leader, or any, any leader in this country should be calling out political violence and bringing the country together, not dividing. Just to be clear. Just to clarify, so sure. you're saying that the president and vice president believe that former president Donald Trump should be toning down his rhetoric? So I'll say this, uh, President Biden has been clear eyed about the threat uh, that the former president represents to our democracy. He's been clear eyed about that. From his role, let's not forget, from his role of January 6th, where he refused uh, to accept the outcomes of free and fair elections. Look what happened on that day. Some of you were there at the Capitol. Some of you have colleagues who were there at the Capitol, reported and saw what happened. 2,000 angry people went there to try to overturn a free and fair election. Uh, and so it's not going to stop the president and the vice president to call out, to continue to strongly call out uh, you know, when it comes to protecting our democracy. We have to be forceful about that. We have to be very clear. We can resolve our differences, right? Via talk at the ballot box, right? We can have differences in policies and issues. That is okay. It is important that we have differences there. Uh, but when it comes to political violence, we have to condemn it.